Hey, you just back from the man cave. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. With your daily devotion for November the 29th. Hope you're having an excellent day, guys. Thanks for posting all the videos. Thanks for giving me thumbs up. And guys, I don't mind if you don't agree with something I'm saying. Post that. I absolutely want to hear from you guys. Hey, today we're going to be in the book of James. Let me tell you about James. The book of James is such a practical book. There's five chapters in the book of James. You ought to be reading that every single day because there's so much meat okay there's so many golden nuggets and it's all cookies on the bottom shelf kind of stuff I mean it really helps me out and I'm like yeah yeah you know one of the things that's in there is wisdom how many stupid people do I run into now the Bible says you don't call people stupid or you're you're, you're gonna be judged okay so I'm not calling people stupid but I am calling people stupid if they don't ask God for wisdom because I ran into people who just didn't have a lick of sense. But God says, here's the thing, if you will come to me and acknowledge you don't have a lick of sense and ask for wisdom, I will give you heavenly wisdom, knowledge, understanding. I will give you things that my perspective, you'll come off like a PhD. You know what I'm saying? Are you to be, now when you come off like a PhD, listen, listen, are you to be prideful and arrogant? Look at how smart I am. Guys, that's dumb as a box of rocks. It's God that makes me what I am. I am what I am by the grace of God. I love that text. Okay, so you're like, Matt, I can see it's going to be one of those kind of devotions. Thanks for very much. Make sure you, you put your tray tables up and fasten your seatbelts, guys. Hey, today we're going to be in what, what verse 14. I started reading 14. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because there's a verse ahead of it. That's why, listen, listen, listen. This is going to be a free tip of the day. That's why watch out for those people. A lot of cults do this. They take one verse out of the whole chapter and then they make a doctrine over it. No! I got to know how does that verse fit into that chapter and how does it fit within the Bible historically and how does it agree with the other chapters of the Bible? There's no error in the Bible. So what you read in Matthew is going to be the same in Revelation. There's no contradictions in the Bible. So if I'm reading 14 and I haven't read 13, yeah, there's going to be a problem. Like, what? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Read your Bibles, guys. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, talking, to, I'm talking to me in the mirror. Okay, so it says this. Verse 13, okay, it says boasting about tomorrow. Ooh, don't want to be that. like this, guys. It says, now listen. I like that. Now listen. 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 Your wife ever tell you to listen? Why'd she tell you that? Because you're reading the newspaper. You were on the internet. You were doing something and you weren't looking in the eyes. That's a freebie, guys. Now listen. You say, today or tomorrow, we will go into this city and spend a year there, carry on business and make money. That doesn't sound too bad. We're going to kind of do our own thing. That's what he's talking about, okay? Verse 14, where I was going, says this, okay? Why? I, I, meaning this, you're saying, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. How many of us have said that? We have plans. Sometimes we haven't consulted God about those plans. We've made plans. This is what I'm doing. I hope you bless it, but I'm rolling. You know what I'm saying? I've decided. I'm going to see this movie. I'm going out with my buds. Afterwards, we're going to bowling. Verse 14 says, why? Why are you making plans without consulting me? God comes over the top through James. He says, you don't know what tomorrow holds. I do. That's what God's saying. You don't know whether you're going to be a week or month or a year there. You don't even know if that's my will for you to be there. You don't know if I have some other thing that I want you to do. And I'm going to bless you in another area of your life financially. Because oftentimes when we're making decisions, they're benefiting us. They're either entertaining us, because we love entertainment, or they're prospering us or blessing us in one manner or another. And a lot of times we're making decisions thinking we're going to be blessed, and it's just the opposite. And God is saying, why? Why am I not going to be prosperous over here? Because that was never my will for your life. If we will hearken, meaning slow up and present things to God. Lord, these are my desires. Are these the desires you gave me? Is this your will for me to go here and do this? To accomplish this? To marry this person? To take this job? Is this your will? Do you have a peace about it? Is God confirmed it through another person, through his word, through his spirit? Meaning, I think we're just going solo so much of the time. And when we do, here's the thing. And the prop on the airplane stops, and we've only had four or five flight lessons. We get in trouble real quick. And what happens? That plane starts going down awfully quick, and the ground is coming at us awfully fast. You're like, yeah, I've been there, done that, Matt. Boom. Guys, verse 15 gives us the answer. And I'm not going to leave you hanging on this. Verse 15 says, instead, 
Instead of me doing my own thing. Instead of me dictating to God what I'm going to do. James says this by way of the Holy Spirit. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast and brag. All such boasting is evil, meaning we're always bragging about our plans. What we've done, what we're going to do, what we're going to do in the future. I'm going to conquer the world. You're not if it's not God's will for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you understand God's will for you and his purpose for your life, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it no matter what that day holds. I'm still alive and I'm still able to breathe and give glory to God and thanks and admiration to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, my Master, my Lord, my Savior. Oh! Guys, when we exclude God, what ends up happening is what the Scripture says. Because when we exclude God and we're doing our own things and we're making our way in this life, because, again, it's entertaining and we think we're going to make lots of money. I mean, really, think about all the things you do. How much of it involves getting money? How much of it involves you being entertained? There's an awful lot of it, guys. And I look at, look at, I don't even want to go there in this devotion. But when we start looking at our decisions, how much of it is about what's going to ha- make me happy, satisfy me, entertain me, bring me up? So much of what we do is just about me, myself, and I. And again, let's not go there now because I couldn't, I couldn't stand. You know what I'm saying? I'd be in the midst of the waters and they would take me down. Okay? God says, All such boasting is evil. That's how he looks at it. Now, when we look in the Word of God and we see when God uses the word evil towards nations that are doing certain things and people who are doing certain things, and God uses the same word in this text when we're doing our own thing and making our plans, excluding him as Lord and Savior of our life, because that's what we're doing. You know what it is? It's idolatry. That's why he says it's evil. It's boasting. You're going about tomorrow doing your thing. You haven't consulted me. You say I'm your God. When you die, you want me to take you to heaven. But here's the thing. I'm not Lord of your life by your decisions, choices, and actions. You're not treating me as Lord. You're treating me as a hired handout. You're giving me leftovers. That's what God is saying, okay? He says it's evil because the life you're living, the decisions you're making, okay, and your plans are evil because they're excluding Him. You're serving another God. What God is that? Self? Uh, whoa, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I love the book of James. He's just placing it before me. Let's do just a, look at, look at, let's do a slight adjustment in our life. Just a slight adjustment, okay? Is it wrong to make plans? No. Write them in pen or pencil. Let me ask you this. Making plans, making goals, what do I want to do? Write them in pen, write them in pencil, write them in pencil. Always be willing to adjust your plans to God's voice. Sometimes I felt like God was leading me to do a certain thing or to go to a certain place, okay? And I was heading out, okay? But he always, if you call him Lord he, and Master, he always has the right to stop you in your tracks and says no. Do you understand? I'm in the car, Lord. What do you mean no? No. He knows better than you. Sometimes he wants to see. He's allowed you to go towards that. And then he says, no. Why is that? Will you hearken unto him? Or are you going to push your way through with your evil free will? <laughs> You're like, evil free will? How often do we use free will in the right way? Let me just say that. Free will oftentimes is used to sin against God. Okay? We can, yeah, we can choose God with our free will. But more times than not, we're sinning against God with our free will. That's another tip of the day. God considers something evil. Do I want to do it? No. So I want to dedicate the day to the Lord. I want to ask his favor upon that day, his blessing upon the day. I want to ask that he would lead me and guide me. And I want to bring those things that I plan to do before him. Say, Lord, this is what I plan to do. I pray that you would direct me in it. And if it's not your will, would you allow me to know? Would you confirm it? Yes or no? You see what I'm saying? I'm I'm presenting everything to God. I'm not just kind of, I can't hear you. I'm going to see the new Bond movie. I like that. I like Bond. No, 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 no. He ends this way in verse 17. Let me just leave it here. Anyone then who knows the good he ought to do and does not do it, it's sin. We all know right from wrong. Would you, would you agree in the man cave? You're like, yeah. We all know the things that we're supposed to do, right? Right? Yeah. When you know the right thing and you decide not to do it because of what? Your free will. God says it's sin. So we want to do what we're supposed to do. Matt, that's, that's genius. That's God's wisdom. That's God's word. I love it. Hey, I hope this helped you out. This is Matt from the Man Cave.